March Madness has college basketball fans glued to their seats and some men are finding an excuse to spend some extra time on the couch. In recent years, urologists have reported increases of as much as 50% in the number of vasectomies scheduled around the tournament. That's according to ESPN. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar spoke with a lo local doctor about this trend. The NCAA tournament is in full force. And for many doctors, including Scott Ackerman, this stretch of college hoops is keeping them busy with a particular procedure, vasectomies. Patients that we're seeing within our practice this, around this time of year, many of them bring up the fact it's the, it's the March Madness and the NCAA tournament. Ackerman, who is a radiation oncologist, says his office is already seeing a spike in patients coming in for the elective surgery. And we've seen about a 20 to 30 percent uptick in the number of vasectomies that we'll, that we'll be doing in the next few weeks. The typical recovery for a vasectomy is two or three days of rest and no strenuous activity. Ackerman says that can be an excuse for them to watch nonstop basketball for a few days. The urologists around the country have seen this as an opportunity and there's a lot of advertising related to that. A decade ago, the Oregon Urology Institute even ran a radio ad encouraging men to get vasectomies, followed by them ordering their patients to watch as much basketball as possible. When the basketball tournament is going on because they're going to be sitting around watching the game anyway. So it's a convenient time. Dr. Ackerman also says he sees this procedure done a lot during this month anyway, particularly because his patients say they want to get that done before a summer vacation or even after a busy holiday season during the winter. Reporting live, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station. So uh, what's the age of the typical guy who's signing up for this? Typically between 30 and 45 years uh, old for, for men is, is common, according to Dr. Ackerman as well.